Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Well, today we're going to find out because we're making a truth meter circuit. This project is moderately complicated, so we're going to have to gather a few different things. First off, we're going to need a breadboard and jumper wires, some LEDs, a variety of circuit components, Velcro, copper tape, a battery pack, and you're going to have to know how to solder. So first, let's make our sensors. We're going to make them out of Velcro, and they're going to fit over your fingers. So you're going to need two three to three and a half inch strips of Velcro. If you have larger fingers, you'll definitely want to go with three and a half inches. So let's set down our loop side of the Velcro. That's the soft side. And now we're going to take the rough side of the Velcro and we're going to cut a square. That'll be roughly three quarter inches by three quarter inches. So now we're going to peel the backing off the Velcro and stick them together at one end. Now we're going to take our insulated wire and strip a quarter inch off one end. Lay the wire across the back of the soft Velcro so that the exposed portion is hanging off the end. Now we're going to take our copper tape and stick that on the exposed portion of the soft Velcro. Now let's strip a little bit off the other end of the wire. Now we're going to fold that exposed wire down over the copper. So now our sensor is essentially done. We just have two more small steps to do. First, we're going to trim off the copper around the edge. And secondly, we're going to solder down that exposed wire onto the copper so it makes a smooth connection. So now that we've got our sensor all done, let's move on to the circuit. So here's our breadboard. Along each side, we've got power rails. Red is positive, blue is negative. We're going to connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. Let's connect our finger sensors first. They're going to be in parallel with a one mega ohm resistor. One of our sensors is going to be connected to V positive, while one end of the resistor is going to be connected to V negative. This is our high pass filter. It's going to cut out extra noise from our circuit. It's got a 0.1 microfarad capacitor and a 3.3 mega ohm resistor. So now we're going to make a low pass filter that's going to connect from the negative input of our op amp to its output. It uses a 3.3 mega ohm resistor and a 10 nanofarad capacitor in parallel. Next, we're gonna plug a 1K resistor from the output of our first op amp to the negative input of our second op amp. Make sure you double check your resistor values. Just one small difference can mean the difference between a 10 kilo ohm resistor and a one mega ohm resistor. Next, we're gonna connect a 100K resistor from the negative input of our second op amp to its output. Now we're going to make a big giant node that connects to the positive input of each op amp. We have our 10K resistor, a 0.1 microfarad capacitor, and three diodes in series. You're almost done. Now just plug in your 220 ohm resistor, your LED, and your power supply. Voila! Now it's time to find your victim. Is it true that your name is Michael Lennon? Yes. Okay. Is it true that you work at Wired.com? Yes. Okay, so far. Is it true that you have a pet lizard named Frankie? No. So this circuit is actually measuring galvanic skin response, which is basically your skin's conductance. When you're lying, when you get excited, your body releases tiny little beads of sweat, and this circuit measures that, and when it detects a change, that LED lights up.